Hello and welcome. Our tutorial today is about submitting a simple form with a recaptcha widget using JavaScript Node.js with the help of ChatGPT. I assume you have installed an IDE like VS Code and Node.js on your system. If you have not, just Google the instructions, it is pretty straightforward. You should be able to run the Node executable in your IDE terminal. We start with collecting information about the form submission. Open the developer console, switch to the network tab, and enable logs preserving. We fill out the form, solve the CAPTCHA, and take notes of what is happening. When the CAPTCHA is solved successfully, the page prints recaptcha test passed, so we copy this text and write it down in a new file in our IDE project. Then we find the post request with the recaptcha token and login data, and we copy these form fields. We also copy the curl reproduction command of this request, it will help us later to compose the code. The curl request can't be easily commented, so I'll save it in a separate text file. Copy the page address with the form and save it too. We also need recaptcha's site key parameter, and this is how to find it. In the developer console, search for a request with the keyword anchor, its parameter k is our site key. Now let's grab the CAPTCHA solution example from the anti-CAPTCHA documentation. Go to our website, click documentation, then click recaptcha v2. Scroll down to examples, switch to JavaScript, and copy this example to our file. We're now ready to write a prompt for ChatGPT. Just compose all the data we collected into a single prompt. So, there's a form with text inputs, name these inputs, and a recaptcha widget which has a hidden text area that contains the token. The form is submitted to an address. Let's copy that address. Recaptcha site key value is this one. Your job is to write code that uses the anti captcha NPM library to solve Recaptcha v2 and then submit the token with other form data. Here's an example of how to solve the token. And here's the curl representation of the post request. Rewrite it in JavaScript. That's it. So we first copy our prompt and then copy the curl example we had collected earlier. ChatGPT generated the answer and strangely split it into two functions, also not mentioning that we are using the Axios library for network requests. If you don't understand any part of the code, you may ask ChatGPT to explain it and ask questions about the suggested libraries. Let's copy the suggested code and initialize the project so we can install the libraries.
follow the instructions and install the anti-captcha npm library. Also, install the Axios library. All we have left to do in our code is to replace the API key with the correct one. Go to your account settings and copy that key. Now it is time to run the code. We got the token. The form with CAPTCHA bypassed successfully. The form we bypassed today is the most common implementation of recaptcha protection, where recaptcha injects a hidden text area with the name Jira Capture response. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to bypass a form that uses a callback function using Puppeteer and the Chromium browser.